All right, welcome back to another video. Thanks for coming back, checking out another one. I've been trying to uh, slowly go through everybody that's uh, commented and messaged and everything and kind of answer all these different questions and stuff. So today I'm going to be doing a stone wash finish on one of my scout models. And I'm going to show you guys the process of how I do that. So uh, the first step, obviously, is to uh, get your blade finished ground and um, ready to do this. And for that, like this knife right here is at a uh, Scotch Bright Belt finish, which is kind of nice about doing the stone washes. You can, I'm currently ripping up an old t-shirt. Uh, I'll show you why in a minute. But um, you can take it to a nice like hand sanded, maybe a 800 grit hand sanded finish. And that'll give you a good uh, a good finish with this stone wash. But I find the easiest and most efficient way is to uh, just use a Scotch Brite belt, take it up to 220 grit on the grinder, and then uh, hit it with that Scotch Brite belt. Just kind of smooth everything out really nice with one of those, and uh, you're ready to go. So what you need to do. This is one of my scout models in Damascus. This is like my shop knife I used that had a little delamination in it. You can see these little. And so I kept it for myself and I used the heck out of it. It works really good. So the first step to doing this is make sure, look at, man, I'm just a mess right now, but we're gonna get it done anyways. Look at my bench, it's just covered with everything, but it's okay. So the first step, you need a little bit I, this t-shirt material um, just seems to work a little bit better than like a rag. This doesn't leave behind any lint or anything. And what I'm using is this super blue, Birchwood super blue gun bluing, okay? And I've used a lot of different things. And uh, sometimes people acid etch it first, like in a ferric chloride acid first. And I've done that. But the downside... Of doing that is it takes longer so if you're uh, kind of wanting to get stuff done then the super blue you know you've got five minutes into it as opposed to with the ferric you're normally etching it for an hour or you know at least a half hour before you get it dark enough to stone wash it so the first step what I'm doing is making sure the blade doesn't have any oils on it okay and I'm just using uh, lacquer thinner. Seems to give me decent results, acetone, whatever you have probably uh, to clean oils off. So that's the first step. Get it good and clean. Wear gloves too because you don't want to get any of your finger oils on this while you're, uh, while you're doing this. So uh, once you have it cleaned off really good and dry... What I like to do, I'm actually cleaning it with my shirt a little bit right now too to just get a couple of the little smudges off. So this is actually, I'm setting this down. I don't know, hopefully that doesn't get messed up. I just had to go and buy a new thing of this. So uh, let me open it real quick. You don't wanna open this with a knife because it obviously it, uh, well, etch your knife or whatever you just at, open it with something that you don't care about. Because this, I actually don't really know what this bluing is, but it is some sort of acid um, that, uh, man, it sure darkens up a blade quick. So what I do is take your little piece of t-shirt. I'm going to kind of angle this down a little bit. Okay. You get your knife clean. I kind of go like this a couple times. Get it pretty saturated. And it works really fast. So I just go like this. Kind of do one side at a time. Make sure you're really hitting it evenly. And 
it darkens up really quick, okay? So look, that's really fast. It's still a little wet. See how dark that gets? And what I do is kind of hit one side like that, dry it off, kind of wipe it, wipe it, wipe it. And it really leaves a, uh, if your blade is finished properly, let's, it gives you a real nice even bluing that will take a stone wash really well. So, okay, there's just one coat, okay? You can see it's nice and even, and it gives it a good dark contrast. Awesome stuff. So, let me, uh, I'm not gonna go through this whole process because it takes a couple minutes, but then basically I flip it over. I do the same thing on this side, okay? You can see some got through on that side and these spots will, you don't really want that because those will be a little bit darker once you're done doing this. But the key to doing this is do a coat on each side, let it sit for a couple minutes, no big deal or whatever. And uh, what I like to do is take some, let me see what fuel this is. This is the super fine steel wool, okay? And kind of take it in your bucket of water or some Windex, spray it down, and kind of lightly go over it with steel wool, okay? And all you're doing is kind of evening it out. And you can do it as many times as you want. Like most of the time, I can do about three coats and then steel wool in between each coat and that gives me that finish I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm not gonna show it and then I'll check back in and show you guys uh, my stone washing process. Okay, so now you should have a blade that looks something like that. I just put a little bit of oil on it. But uh, see how the finish, obviously I didn't do the handle, the finish is relatively even. Okay, that's kind of key to this. It's like that gun bluing super aggressive. So if you don't put it on fast enough, it kind of gets kind of splotchy and stuff like that. So uh, that's why a couple coats and you should be able to uh, get a nice even finish like that. This this has two coats on it. So I basically did a coat and then uh, steel wool, did a coat, steel wool, and this is what it turns into. So... I've actually left a couple knives like this and just called it my uh, distressed gun blued finish. And it's really cool. I mean, I, I actually kind of like this finish too. So anyways, um, this was supposed to be another quick short video. I say that every single time and these turn into like three hour long videos. But anyways, okay, I'm going to run you over here and show you my stone washing setup and kind of what I do and how it all works. So hang on one second. Okay, so this is what I use to stone wash my knives. This is one of those tumblers that you can get from any, this one's from like Harbor Freight, I think. I don't remember how much they cost. Um, and then as far as the media goes, I have some of these really tiny little ceramic triangle things. That's just, you can get them online. It's just called uh, like abrasive, you know, tumbler abrasive or something like that. And then some of these bigger ones, and it's the same thing. And then I've just got some random sized rocks in here as well, okay? Now, as far as what you use inside of this, that's gonna be up to you. Um, what I've learned is if you have too much big medium, media, I think is what you call it, media, then it won't get into the crevices of the knife like in, like in the plunge, okay? So you'll have a nice stone wash finish, but then right on your plunge, it, it just doesn't look even. So that's something you'll, you're gonna have to experiment with a little bit. Um, but what I do is I run a little bit of water and a little bit of just like dish soap in it. And it just seems to, like, I, like I've been trying to say, is it just evens it out a little bit and it's not as an aggressive, uh, aggressive scratches it's a little smoother and more consistent so and what I do is I run it with the lid off and then you can kind of adjust how much uh tumble you get using this it's going to get loud I'll show you guys real quick kind of what this looks like okay so you can see that if I switch this it gets a little more aggressive turn this tighten it down 
and it smooths it up a little bit. So you'll have to mess with that a little bit as far as how you want the finish to look on your knife. And that's why everybody's stone wash finish looks different. And uh, that's kind of what makes it cool. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in. I basically just drop it in like that and uh, let it run. And I'll probably let this run for about 15 to 20 minutes and then check it and just see how consistent the finish is. And, you know, anywhere normally for me, it's 20 to 40 minutes it gets me the right finish that I'm looking for. So I'll check back in once this is done and uh, show you how it looks. All right. It's been about 20 minutes so far. It's all covered in suds. You could probably go a little lighter on the suds. Let's come over here and rinse this off, see where we're at. Okay, so it's looking pretty sweet. Like I said, that's been in for, uh, yeah, just over 20 minutes. And it looks pretty good and even. I'm going to dry it off and get a final shot here. All right, there it is. It's really hard to show in the video, but we've got a nice, even stone wash finish on there. And that is at least the way I do it. And uh, I'm happy with the results. There's a million different ways to do it. And... This is just one way, and uh, hopefully you learned something. This one's ready for handles. Um, and yeah, so anyways, that's it. If you have any questions about it, uh, drop it in the comments below. Um, and also, if you have anything you want me to cover in some future videos, be sure to drop it in the comments below or shoot me a message. So anyways, hope you guys learned a little bit about stone washing knives. Um, I will try to put together a quick little list of all the stuff I used here to do this and drop it in the uh, description below if you guys have any questions about what I'm using or anything like that. So, okay. Thanks for watching, guys.